I think the values that I built in the company will carry on long after I've gone. And I think that's a really important point for the leaders here. Most leaders overstay. And a good leader knows when to go. And when he goes, if the company gets better, then he's a good leader. If he goes and the company falls down, then I failed as a leader. So succession planning and continuing what we built is really important and making sure that the next leader makes it better is kind of what I'm trying to achieve. Can I, Please. so, but it's, it's really interesting and, and you talk about values and I assume those didn't just happen. You, you were intentional about them and you've written them down and you, you've shared them with people. So this wasn't an accident. This was sort of, this was something you, you, you wrote about and then you, you've attracted people because you've, you've put that out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think Air Asian culture is quite well known now. We, we have six core values. I created a department called the culture department and their whole job. So everyone talks about branding and everyone thinks branding is what you see, advertising and sponsorship, etc. But to me, branding is internal branding first. Your own, your 29,000 people have to know what you stand up for. And actually, um, a few days ago, we added a seventh, and, and Sasha over there uh, drove that uh, sustainability. So obviously, we are contributors to carbon uh, emissions in, in a big way, and so we have a responsibility. And we decided that is our next value that we have to be sustainable in putting it in. So, yeah, we did write it down. We make sure people know what it's all about before they join us because it's the central core part of AirAsia. You've got to believe in those values, otherwise you're not going to fit into the organization.